Hello there, today I have Lego Transformers G1 Hound. So here he is in his robot mode. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, although pretty choppy and uh, gappy and uh, not too flowy. Uh, I still think it does get the look of a Jeep across. So yeah, there's the underside. Um, there is also some color mismatch. We've got some normal gray, not gray, green here, and then a little bit of lighter green, and then a dark green here. And uh, they're all shades of green except for the right shade of green. Uh, that's just uh, due to my limited uh, amounts of pieces. So I don't have the actual shade of green to build this guy in. So I just work with the next best color. Uh, these also has the Autobot symbol and then like the star right here, uh, the winch thing right here. Um, the hood also does not flow very well, as you can see. But, um, you know, just due to how he has to transform and stuff, how stuff has to work to be accurate. I also prioritize robot mode. Uh, it looks good enough and it also fills in a gap that is right there, as you can see. So it does serve, uh, multiple purposes and it, um... From some angles, it doesn't look that bad, so I decided to keep it. These cheese slopes are all supposed to represent the seats that are supposed to be back here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there's also holes right here. Uh, once again, colors are inaccurate. There's a dark gray, gray all over here. It's not supposed to be like that. It's all supposed to be a wheel back here, but as you could probably tell, there's supposed to be his feet, so you could not, or I could not, fit wheels back there. Um, also as, uh, weapons, you can just, uh, take off. Let me just do that real quick. And now here he is in his, uh, base jeep mode. So it still looks good without the weapons on there. And also he does have the jeep bed. I don't know if this is actually accurate, but he does have the bed. And, uh, he does have a little bit of stuff down there. We're not sure what it is yet. Uh, but we're gonna find out when we transform him. So... Yeah, comparisons. Here's Hound with some Hasbro stuff. And here's Hound with some Hasbro stuff. Uh, I just said Hasbro stuff. I mean Lego stuff. And vehicle mode is about 10 studs long. And 4 and a half studs tall. Now for the transformation. Let's center this right here. Um, transformation, first thing you're going to do is move these pieces up like so. So you got the gap right there, and then this entire section can come up. Uh, that gives you enough clearance to move. Split the, the back like this. Then you just flip the feet down, of course. And then these sections will swivel all the way around on that uh, back light piece. And then fold it down on that hinge. Same thing on the other side. Then uh, you're going to... Uh, like usual, you're gonna move the knees on that bar joint right there, and there you have the legs done. And the next thing you're gonna do is move this piece out of the way, move this all the way up like so, or move it all the way down, I should say, uh, however you look at it. But uh, then you're gonna do this Optimus Prime transformation thing where you move this piece out and then you move the shoulder forward. So yeah, it kind of just has the Optimus Prime transformation. And then you move the elbow down and swivel the... Well, it's easier to just do this. But you swivel the wheel so that it is flush with his arm like so. And then this is uh, when you can just, on this bar turn right here, just slide it all the way down. And then center it. And then there you go. There you have... Uh, most of his body so next thing you're gonna do now is move this piece up again and then on that piece that clip right there on his butt just swivel it all the way around and then move that up and then uh, let this piece like to pop off it's a one stud connection his heel but um then you're going to, you can see that it's not centered, so you're going to swivel the clip to the middle on that bar joint. See right there? Yeah, that looks good. 
and then you move the head over so that uh, it doesn't uh, need to break but you swivel his head over so that it goes onto his chest like so and then finally got these pieces uh, I doesn't want to cooperate right now but you want to swivel this piece out like so and then you collapse it onto his shoulder so yeah, there's Hound in his robot mode. Um, just do a quick 360 right here. As you can see, he's pretty clean, except for this, uh, I don't know if you can kind of consider this a backpack. Well, it is a backpack, but um, I don't know if it's accurate. I'm going to assume it is, because where else would this, uh, this windshield piece go? Not necessarily in this configuration, but I imagine the windshield piece would end up on his back. The seats, I am not sure, but uh, yeah, Hound has a pretty good robot mode, uh, pretty well proportioned, pretty stable, uh, yeah, it's just all around pretty good. But to actually finish off his robot mode, you have to give him his iconic shoulder cannon. So you just tab that onto that piece like so, and there you go, now Hound is truly complete. Let's just do one more 360. So you can see him with his shoulder cannon. And it makes him even uh, look even more like G1 Hound. Because uh, that's his design. And he also has uh, um, this gun right here. It was on the G1 model I was referencing. I don't know if this is like his hologram gun. Um, or maybe it's that. I don't know. It looks like a rocket launcher more so. I don't know. Maybe this is a hologram gun. I don't know. But it simply tabs into his hand. And there you go, we can hold it, and now he's doing the G1 model pose. Pretty cool. Alright, so for articulation, uh, his head, uh, it can move, but it's going to look weird. Um, you can also shimmy his head side to side, but I'm not going to show that. Um, shoulders, 360, universal joints right here. And we're that far up, also pretty far, as you can see right there. And, of course, he has that bicep swivel, 360, uh, 90 degree elbow bend forward and backward. Nothing at the hands, uh, I'm back down, and then, uh, what else? He can look up with his chest, um, but uh, yeah, his head does not like to go with it. So yeah, that also means he does not have um, he does not have a waist swivel. So yeah, uh, move the shoulders out of the way or the arms. Um, legs kick forward that far. They kick back that far, and they kick up higher than that. So let's see exactly how high. Also, when you're articulating him, his chest does like to go off center because there is no way to lock his chest uh, to the center. So it kind of just goes around like that. So it is kind of annoying, but it is pretty easy to put it back into place. Uh, oh, well, he has a loose uh, hip. Uh, but yeah, you can kick up that high and then uh, inward. No, inward is that much. And then thigh swivel 360 once again. 90 degree knee bend forward or backward, technically. Uh, nothing forward because uh, his knee guard is in the way. And um, as the standard, he has the ankle pivot. And. Uh, and it foot moves down, obviously. Uh, let's see how far. About that far. Because the clip gets in the way of his heel. Or the heel gets in the way of the clip, whichever way around. And his heel also swivels around so that it can accommodate for whatever position his uh, ankle pivot is in. So yeah, that's all of his wonderful articulation, and it's pretty good. Uh, here's this random pose, by the way. Lego stuff. Hasbro stuff, he is about a core class.
He's also about 10 and a half studs tall. Maybe, uh, no, he's just 10 and a half studs tall. And I will see you guys next time. I also think he's a little bit taller than Jazz. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's too noticeable, right? It works.